I've had very good success with a dry start method on this tank in my bedroom over the course of a couple months I've added plants to this tank with the water just above the substrate the tank is covered with a polycarp canopy and I had an airline running into the tank so that the plants didn't exhaust all the CO2 with a constant flow of air going into the tank they got a pretty good start and so I've gone ahead and filled the tank with water it's been full for several days and went ahead and added a hardscape just for temporary because I intend to move the tank to my spare room I don't want to keep fauna in the bedroom because I turn the lights on at odd hours and that does disturb the fauna so I'd like to move the tank into the spare room where it will replace a 29 gallon that I found although it didn't leak at all it was pretty scratched up but that spot is reserved for this tank and I'd like to maintain it as an unheated tank adding only species that don't require a heater now that I moved the tank into the spare room you can see that there's quite a bit of tannin in the water from the compost and the water is rather cloudy it's been in this room for several days so what I need to do is use a siphon to remove excess compost that got stirred up out of the substrate from the top of the substrate and then add fresh black diamond blasting grit to the substrate get that cleared up and with successive water changes the cloudiness and the red tinge will decrease now that the tanks settled down can add some more plants many of the plants that I'm acquiring from the local pet store in exchange for cleaning the tank are just basically what has broken loose from bunches of plants and may not be all that healthy but perhaps in this fertilized tank it'll do alright I decided to go ahead and remove the hang on the back filter and replace it with a double sponge filter hidden behind the hardscape I'm making an effort to plug up all the holes in the canopy it's not a glass canopy it's a polycarp canopy that I put together the glass canopy I acquired doesn't actually fit this tank but different brands they have slightly different sizes but with sheets of polycarp you can make whatever size you need and it's a pretty easy material to work with as removing keely fish from a 5.5 gallon tank has resulted in some fry in that tank that were not devoured I'd like to continue the process and move killifish into this tank once they've had a chance to breed in the 10 gallon. The scape needed something to make it look complete. The addition of a few daughter rocks makes it look much nicer. Here's a look at the adult killifish enjoying some live Daphnia magna.
This is the 5.5 gallon tank where the Keeley fish bred previously. So far I've noticed six Keeley fish fry in the tank. And since the cherry shrimp colony was not thriving in the Endler's Live Bearer 20 gallon tall tank colony, I decided to move six adult cherry shrimp from that tank into this one. They won't harm the Keeley fish fry at all. And since the tank has been set up for at least six or eight months, there's loads of macrofauna all over the substrate and hardscape for the shrimp to enjoy.